So let's talk about being likable. If you found this video, it's either you're one of three types of people. The first one is the worst one. It's either you're a geek. You actually found the audacity to go on the YouTube search bar and type in the words how to become more likable. Anyways, can't blame you for that. Or two, you're just a person who pretty much watches whatever on YouTube, which is also a geek because you don't really know the types of things that you really want to watch. And the third one, being the last one, is pretty much the best. You found this on your recommended page and you believe that no matter how nice or how likable you think you are, there's always room for improvement for you to change and become more and more likable as a person. Whatever the case, you need to remember one thing throughout this video. I'm not your lecturer, but I'm talking from the perspective of somebody who has never gone on a 10 minutes conversation with somebody without them asking for my phone number, just out of them feeling a sense for me. By sense, I'm talking about them liking me. Look at me right now. I'm a dangerous human being. Despite being a dangerous human being, people can look at me with the first glance, they can know I can literally rip their head out of their shoulders. But why do they still like me? Why do they still respect me? It's because of the things that I'm going to mention in this video. And if I'm going to be very honest with you, I'm actually surprised that I had to make this video. Anybody else on the internet decides to make a video called how to be more likable because isn't it pretty obvious on what you like in a person? Do you really need me or any internet guru telling you how to become likable? I feel like you pretty much need to look within yourself, see the types of people who you like and copy their attributes. But believably, because most people on the internet are geeks, possibly like you, but I don't know if you're a geek for sure, but I don't know. Here's the first lesson. You need to carry yourself in a certain way for people to like you. You cannot be liked by people if you can't even like yourself. That is virtually impossible. Before you get anybody on this planet to like you, you need to like yourself first. By liking yourself, should I say you should be doing everything you want, jerking off all day, taking whiskey every time you feel like it? That's not what I'm saying at all. By saying liking yourself, I'm talking about treating yourself in a way that others would perceive as likable. You need to take care of yourself. You need to respect yourself in a certain way. You need to not tolerate certain patterns that people emit towards you. And that's what you call self-love. And if you have that, already you become more likable to people because we're all humans. We are all interlinked in our psyche. Everything that other people like, other people like. Which person on this entire planet, no matter how dumb, hates money? Which person? It's linked. People like what other people like. So if you see things that you like in yourself, most likely other people are going to see those things and like you for them. Now, am I saying you should like yourself for being a total jackass who jerks off all day while playing video games throughout the day, really not productive, not really achieving anything in life with the body of a suicidal man from Pakistan? There is no way on earth that you can even be likable if you take yourself for granted. If you don't like yourself, if you don't take care of yourself. If you don't take care of yourself, who is going to take care of you? Hygiene. It is virtually impossible to like somebody who smells like shit. If somebody smells like shit, your initial response is to go as far away as possible from that person. Tell me, in your right mind, would you go ahead and make business with a person who smells like shit? If he opens his mouth, apart from the shit that comes out of his mouth, the actual literal shit that comes out of his mouth because he doesn't even know how to talk, right? It actually smells like shit. Is that a person who you would want to deal with and do business with? I highly doubt it. Same with taking a shower. There are several people out there. There was this man from, I don't know if it's Pakistani or one of these Asian countries, Guinea's World Record recorded for being the dirtiest man alive. He hasn't taken a shower in literally 75 years of his existence and he smokes shit, like actual shit. And he thinks that's impressive. He was recorded on Guinea's World Record. But is he famous? No. Nobody 
gives a shit. That's just how it is. So same with you, if you start taking care of your own personal hygiene right now, you are increasing the chances of your likability to other people. Brush your teeth, bath, apply a fragrance, look good, look presentable, don't go around looking like a, like a junkie or go around looking like you don't know how to dress properly. If you don't know how to dress, watch Teaching Men's Fashion, he will teach you. Watch other internet people who know what they're talking about when it comes to dress and grooming. I'm not that kind of person. I'm just telling you what to do to be more likable. Remember, I'm not your fucking professor. Your physicality plays a crucial role in whether you're likable or not to people. Whenever I move around, whenever I carry myself, people can't help but notice to say, who is this giant who looks like he can rip my head out of my shoulders? I look protective. I look like a, like a lion. That's, that's, that's exactly what I like to think. My physicality matters. When I stand, I'm towering towards people. The way I walk, people can notice that this nigga has trained martial arts. And that's where them liking you, respecting you starts. If you're a man and you work on yourself and become huge, not necessarily like huge, but at least to the point where people are afraid to mess with you. You've increased your like ability by 50% already. Even if you're a total douchebag, but you have a nice body, even if you're rude to every single person around you, just having a nice body will increase your like ability by 50%. And it's proven, by the way. I'm not saying physicality is the only thing that matters when it comes to being likable, because physicality is just one aspect. All of these aspects that I've mentioned so far in this video must be emulated for you to be completely likable by other people. People who talk too much are less likable. In their minds, they do perceive that they are more likable than others, that they're able to express themselves more. They can be a chatterbox all day long, talking, 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 talking. But honestly speaking, talking is not doing anything and repelling people away. You don't need to talk too much and you don't need to talk too less. You need to know when to express yourself, the most appropriate time to talk, and what to actually say. Those are the things that play a crucial role in your likability as a human being. I have met several people, annoying as hell, from head to toe, who actually don't know what to say at what time. They are basically like, like, like they are ADHD adults. They don't know what to say, what to do in front of people. Their social norms are belittled to zero. They don't know what to say and when to say it. They don't know how to present their speech in a more appropriate manner. That will either get people's attention. Don't be annoying, you know what I mean? When I say annoying, I know the subject is very subjective. The topic is very subjective when you say annoying alone. But when I say don't be annoying, I mean to your friends, to your family. There are some of you, some of you geeks have this tendency of not calling your friends at all, but only the time you are in need is the time you start reaching out to your friends and saying, hey bro, I need help, this, 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 that. Do you know how that comes across to me? Annoying. So if you know that you're in my life, you're in my circle, and you never contact me when your life is going okay, but whenever you're in trouble, whenever you're in problems, that's when you're really quick to pick up your phone and say, Kala Luka, are you sure about that? If you do that in my life, then consider yourself annoying to me. Don't be boring. The fact that you don't say the words that offend people doesn't mean that you're bound to be likable. Being likable doesn't mean it's not all the time that you offend people. It means you know what to say to make people like you. Because it's very possible for people to feel extremely neutral towards you. And that is the worst feeling. If they can't hate you, they can't love you, it's like you're a nobody. You need to project yourself in a way that will enable people to like you instantly. Snap. Boom. I like this guy. Get his phone number. I can tell you the truth. Like in the beginning of this video, I said it to say, there is no interaction that I've had with people even above my age group, which lasted above 10 minutes without them turning around to me to say, hey, what's your phone number? I like your positive vibes. I like your positive... Speaking of positive vibes, don't be negative. Even if you meet people for the first time, you've been friends forever, you don't need to start talking in a way that is deteriorating to other people's mental. You need to motivate people, you need to encourage people, and you always need to think and talk positively, and that can reflect because human beings can detect energy. 
That's where I end my video because I ca there's no use in making a one hour long video on how to be likable. Nobody ever taught me how to be likable. Just be yourself and don't be boring. Be clean, maintain your personal hygiene. I apologize if some of my words in this video came out a little bit hostile, but some of you just deserve it like I'm being honest right now. But with that being said, I'll be watching from afar and I'll be rooting for you.